Well, hi there. You probably know about butterflies. Butterflies are beautiful, delicate little insects that aren't much known for fighting. Unlike grasshoppers, which if they don't kick butt, they definitely can kick really hard. They also bite hard, whereas the butterfly has a curly straw for mouth parts. But butterflies beat grasshoppers. How is this possible? It is all because of the way that they grow. Grasshoppers and butterflies are both insects. Insects have three body segments, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. They have a single pair of antennae on their head and six walking legs coming from the thorax. Also coming from the thorax, they have as many as two pairs of wings, though wings are generally only found on adults. Insects have an exoskeleton, and they grow by periodically molting out of their old exoskeleton through a process called ecdysis. During ecdysis, they grow a larger exoskeleton inside of a smaller exoskeleton. After they molt the older, smaller exoskeleton, they inflate the larger exoskeleton to its full size, and then it hardens. Each time the insect molts, it enters a new stage called an instar. Now many insects, like grasshoppers, hatch out of eggs looking like tiny wingless version of adults. These wingless microadults are called nymphs. They will go through many instars, progressively getting larger until they emerge as mature winged adults. Insects that develop in this way are part of the group hemimetabola, meaning partial metamorphosis, since they start out basically the same as adults. But if you know two things about butterflies, you probably know that as babies, they look nothing like butterflies. Butterflies do not hatch out as little wingless butterfly nymphs, but something very different, a larva. Butterfly larvae are generally referred to as caterpillars. While nymphs look like adults, larvae do not. Larvae, such as caterpillars, hatch out very different from adults. They generally look different, act different, eat different things. Like nymphs, larvae grow through ecdysis and go through multiple instars. But eventually, they pass through a really weird instar called a pupa. In butterflies, the pupa is often called a chrysalis. During this pupa stage, the insect is generally not very mobile. It doesn't move around or feed. What it does is transform. And when it molts out of this pupal stage, it emerges as an adult, generally winged and dramatically different from what it was as a larva. Insects that develop in this way are part of the group hollow metabola, meaning complete metamorphosis, since the adults are very different from the larvae. And often, when I ask people which group they think will be the most successful, they predict that the hemimetabola, those with incomplete metamorphosis, will be the most successful. They generally think that this will be because they don't pass through a vulnerable pupa stage. And that does make some sense. It just doesn't happen to be the case. So why is it that the hollow metabola, those with complete metamorphosis, are the most successful group of insects, and indeed, perhaps, animals on the planet? Well, let me put it to you this way. If you had to live for the next year on a one acre piece of land with a duck and another person, which of those two would take more of the things that you would need to survive? It wouldn't be the duck. You don't compete as directly for resources with any species as you do your own species. While the duck might take some of the things that you would want, the human will be interested in all of the things that you would want. And if you had to compete with another human for survival, and the other human was six years old, who would win? Well, Assuming that you're older than six, and that you wanted to survive as badly as did the six-year-old, then my money's on you. Adults tend to outcompete juveniles for resources when they compete. And while the juvenile hemimetabolous insects compete directly with adults of their own species for resources, the hollow metabolous insects do not. So while the hemimetabolous insects are very successful, the hollow metabolous insects are the most successful, at least in terms of the number of species, group of animals, on the planet. And now you know. If you learned something today, please like this video. If you'd like to learn more in the future, please subscribe and click the little bell. And we hope to see you real soon.
And often when I, sorry, I caught it. Like a ninja.